Hey folks, hopefully everyone is having a great day out there. I know I am, because I am out fishing here today. And anytime you're fishing, it's a good day. So, in this video, I am fishing Mill Creek in southwestern Wisconsin. It's one of my favorite broad trout creeks here. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how affordable this inland uh, trout stream creek type fishing is. So throughout the video, I'm going to show you some of the gear that I use. And I think with all the gear I use, it's under $100. It might be even cheaper than that. Maybe I'll put the total of what I use at the end of the video. So we're going to get after it here and we're going to go catch some fish. All right, first cast of the day. Got one, guys. First fish of the day. There we go. Took a while, but we finally got one. Get our hands wet. Oh. There we go. Nothing big. Ah. Nothing big, but I'll tell you what, it's a start. We'll get them back. Well, what do I use for a rod? I just simply use an ugly stick. Why do I use ugly stick? Because it's cheap. I think uh, you can get a combo with the reel and rod for right around like 29 to $40. Another reason I like the ugly stick is because I am not easy on my stuff. I'm very, very hard on my stuff. And the ugly stick's just tried and proven. It's a, it's a good rod that takes a lot to break, but I use a four foot eight ultralight action. The reason I use a four foot eight is because you see all this shrubs and timber and stuff like that. It allows me to get through it easily and it allows me for good casting in tight spaces. That's why I like a little bit shorter rod like this. And it seems to have just enough backbone for these inland creek trout. So let's get to casting here. There we go. Got another one, guys. This one feels a little bit better than the last one. It's two out of this little pool here. Oh yeah, that's that's a beautiful one. Oh, it has that yellow belly. Super cool fish. It's two out of this run. Oh look at look at that red fin right there. Super cool. Yeah, those ones are the cool ones. That's a pretty one. It's got that uh, vanilla type buttery belly. All right. Let's get this feller back. See ya, bud. Let's see if we can get a hat trick out of this run. We got two. Dang it. Cool thing about gear fishing for inland trout, you really don't have to think too much. Just read the currents, cast into your eddies, slack waters, current seams. Well, what am I using for a weapon to throw at these fish? I'm using this Panther Martin here. It seems to be really effective. I honestly have not changed his bait since last spring because it just puts, puts fish on shore. Um, it's kind of like a crawdad color that I'm using to target these brown trout. I believe it's uh, 16 ounce. I believe you can pick these up at major outdoor retailers, um, your local shops, um, Walmart, or even their website. Um, yeah, and I believe a two-pack's like anywhere between three and five dollars. 
and I recommend picking up, you know, two or three of them at minimum because see all this stuff, chances are you're gonna cast in it and you're gonna lose a bait or two every once in a while. So let's fish our next pool here. There we go, guys. Thought I had some bites in here. <laughs> Jesus. That's a little messed up. Here we go. Another beautiful brownie right there. Freaking A. Get this guy back. Hey, bud. There we go, guys. Ah. There we go. <laughs> we upgraded. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh. Let's get in the water with them, I guess. Would have landed those fish if I were down in the water with them. Oh well. It's fun when you get this current working against you. Makes those fish uh, really strong. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Dang, missed three out of this hole. Or this run, it's not really a hole. Much faster water. Dang. I guess that one wasn't meant to be. Well, it's starting to rain out, so I'm gonna go over the line real quick. I use four to six pound mono. Seems to do the job. I'm not really brand specific type guy. Then some other things to consider bring in is some forceps of course just in case they take it deep i got a little measuring tape scissors for cutting line and whatnot then something that i think's really important is a solid net one of these tennis racket type style nets i call it my tennis racket so pick you up one of those and uh other than that you don't need too much i I always have a pair of rubber boots on. You don't have to have those. A pair of hiking boots just does fine, or even tennis shoes, especially when it's early like this and you're not going through too much grass or anything like that. So that's really all you need to get into inland stream trout fishing here. Well, that's gonna wrap up the video today, guys. I'm heading back to the vehicle right now because we got rain moving in, like I had said. But picked up three trout point of today's video wasn't to show you how many trout I could catch or anything like that. It was showing you guys how affordable and budget friendly trout fishing can be. And what I call it is basically hiking with a rod in your hand. So you hike a little bit and you cast. Hike a little bit, cast. Um, hey, it's cheap to do. Get a fishing license for $20, get your trout stamp for $10, and uh, have yourself a ball. And uh, I guess other than that, We'll see you guys in the next video.